you can be asked, here is calcium chloride. That's a compound, ionic compound, and you're asked to find what is the percent by mass in a sample, in a calcium chloride sample, of each element. How much does each element constitute of the mass of a sample of that compound? Okay, well, quite straightforward, what you need to do is you need to figure out the molar mass of the entire chemical. Because once you know the molar mass of the chemical, if you take the molar mass of the individual and divide it into that total times 100, you're going to be able to find that percentage. So, for calcium chloride, when you do the molar mass of 40.08 for calcium chloride, and 2 times 35.45, the molar mass of chlorine, you're going to get a molar mass of 110.98 grams per mole, right? Okay, well, what percent of that is going to be calcium? Well, for the calcium, what you do is you take the molar mass of 40.08 grams per mole of calcium, and you divide it by the total of 110.98 grams per mole of the compound. And what that's going to give you times 100 is going to be that percent of calcium in the compound, right? You don't have to write that down with these units here. Grams per mole cancels times 100, and you're going to get, in this case, the total of 36, 36.11 percent calcium in that compound, per, per compound, per 100 grams of that compound. Now, what is going to be the mass of the chlorine? Well, when you're given two atoms and the total has to be 100, you could either do the calculation here for chlorine, which is going to be 70.90 divided by this number times 100, or just take this and subtract it from 100%, since there's only two elements here, and the chlorine is going to be 63.89%. Make sense? That's how you do mass percent. That's pretty straightforward.